use my hands. Oh, now, now we're doing it like in <laughs> India, for real. Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in my hometown of Miami, Florida. Today I'm taking you to the Jackson Food Hall, the nation's first wellness focused food hall. They have six different concepts from veggie bowls to Mediterranean food. This area is easily accessible by Metro Rail. The Metro stop is called Civic Center and from there it's a three minute walk. We're meeting up with Trina from the media team and we're gonna be sampling a dish from each vendor. Now let's go eat some delicious food. The food hall is located on the second floor of the Civica Center. So just take this escalator or stairs, come to the top, and here it is. Jackson Hall, six concepts, one purpose. How's Welcome. everything? Welcome, this Thank is um, hey. the co-founder, Ken Lyon. David, it's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Trina from Jackson Hall, and we're here in the Miami Health District, uh, the second largest medical district in the country. And the reason we launched Jackson Hall was to provide the 65,000 people who work, travel, visit this area every day with healthy, amazing, delicious food options. So we've got a full bar, Radiate Apothecary and Bar, with coffee, wine, beer, cocktails, and then everything from Mediterranean to poke bowls to salads and soups so you could come in and eat every day and have something completely different. And it's all made here, nothing comes frozen in packages like in a lot of food courts. Super homemade, made with love, and can't wait for you to try it. So we've got six different concepts here. We've got Radiate Apothecary and Bar. We have Della Bowls with its globally inspired plant-based bowls. We have Little Island Poke Bowls. Leo and Bloom Artisanal Deli, Levant, Mediterranean, and Charcoal, which serves antibiotic-free, hormone-free, rotisserie chicken, and comfort food. So the first place we have here is called Della Bowls. This is like straight veggie bowls. And right here we have Adasha Spicy. You can see how spicy it is. Not so spicy. Perfect. Oh, I can eat a lot of that. No matter which of our restaurants you're ordering from, you order here from these terminals and you can pick from any of our concepts. So even if you're trying to order something from Little Island and also order something from Radiate Apothecary, you can mix all in the same order so it'll all be ready around the same time and you only need to swipe your credit card once. Okay, so we have two sides to start. They're from which place? Leo and Bloom, the artisanal delicatessen. So this is the strawberry field salad, um, okay. and this is the rainbow quinoa salad. So this one has feta, it has strawberries, walnuts, um, walnuts. Um, blueberries, greens, and then this one has quinoa, oranges, slivered almonds, red onions. I mean, they both look amazing. Especially on a hot day like this, something yeah. filling, and quinoa has Tons of protein, but it's so it's filling, but it's not too heavy. One of the Mmm. Mm. Super fresh. Everything oh, wow. here is delicious and filling. It happens to be healthy, but it's also awesome and delicious. A lot of people get confused and they think like, you know, being a vegan or being super healthy in terms of size and stuff it doesn't fill you. It actually fills you more. Mm -hmm. yeah, but then you get hungry like in three hours again. Like, you're like, okay, I need another one. Well. We have some things that'll help make sure you don't get hungry in three hours. This one's amazing. Dish number three and four. I think this is the poke bowl, but it's not poke. It's wahoo, which it's is wahoo. a delicious white fish. And then we have our green bamboo rice. We have all kinds of rice here. Um, bean sprouts, cabbage. We have a little bit of ginger there on the side. And then it's all sprinkled with toasted coconut and furikake, which is a Japanese seasoning, which has sesame seeds and bonito flakes and other delicious spices. I never told you, but I love ginger. Like I go to sushi restaurants, I just eat this. I do too. I love ginger. Mm. Go for your stomach. But wahoo is not a fish so many people are familiar with, but it's really tasty, really fresh, really light, and it's you know one of the more sustainable fishes. So we try to really store sustainably here. So we're trying to introduce our guests to wahoo. I've actually never had wahoo like this. Mm -hmm. It's always either 
salmon or tuna? Which we have, but you know, we wanted Change to break out of the mold. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Should I tell you about this one? Yeah, tell me. So this is from Della Bowls, which is our plant-based concept, globally inspired. And this one has been blowing up this summer. It's the Southwest Bowl. So this is quinoa, it's got kale, it's got avocado, it's got pico de gallo, toasted pumpkin seed, sweet potato, and then the key, the beauty, is these sauces. Yeah, so this is say, a red the sauce. pepper. This is a red pepper almond sauce called the red sauce, and it's got like a spicy, zesty kick. Like, this is just, yeah. Oh People are really excited about this one. <laughs> All right, let's switch bowls. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dive in. So we just gotta mix it up. Mmm. Mm. So fresh. You like so, it? So clean, yeah. I mean, this one's got a kick. I love it. But I love it. Yeah, it has a kick? Yeah. It's oh, got I can't a kick. wait. And it's got this adasha, which is a red lentil protein, mm -hmm. but it's got like a spicy seasoning. It's amazing. There's mango in here. Mmm. Mmm. Feels very like India. Mm -hmm. Like Indian type well, of taste. It's a red lentil base. Exactly. Is it everything you dreamed of? They're my favorite. I know, okay, that's awesome. So I mean, between the kale, the quinoa, and the adisha, all the flavors in that red sauce. Is it red or is it orange? This is the red one. This is the red sauce, yeah, okay. It's, it's out of shot. They're the winner right now. Awesome. Mm. Well, let's oh see, God. we still have a few more things to try. I know, it I might know. Might be a tough call at the end. It's hard, the thing is that when you give me a little bit of spice, it's like, <laughs> that's what I want. Now we're going for the rotisserie chicken. It's a tough one to eat on camera. I mean, it looks amazing. I love the wings. I'm all about the wings and just the white meat. Oh, really? I don't even I'm care about the drum. We have a bunch of comfort food sides, and actually some people just come and order a tray full of sides. You know how people love for Thanksgiving sides? Yeah. That's the thing about charcoal. So it's hormone-free, antibiotic-free uh, rotisserie chicken. We got some garlic bok choy, oh. mashed sweet potatoes, and then this is one of my favorites right now, is a green mango salad. And then you can pick sauces. You can put, pick chile de arbol, you can pick um, honey mustard, chimichurri, oh, ranch, barbecue. This reminds me of a southern Indian style dish, you know, like dosas, you know, the uh -huh. little pancakes. Uh -huh. They usually give it to you like this with like, you know, two dosas and then all the sauces, oh, all the chutneys. Wow. This, is, this is exactly the same. Cool. Well, but, dig in. All right, so I'll grab this wing. Ah. Broke it. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's delicious. The cool thing about the Jasper is it makes the outside like nice and toasty and delicious, but it keeps the inside so moist. In the chef world, the Jasper is kind of like this Cadillac of cooking tools. They love it. It's like sweet and salty. Feel on top of it. I don't know what they put like glaze or something, mm -hmm. but it's so good. Glad you like it. Mm. I'm just gonna use my hands. Oh, here. now now we're doing it like in <laughs> India for real. Look how Indian do it. Just grab the meat, uh, dip it into the honey mustard. Mm. Honey mustard is incredible. Amazing. It's really good. That's our sweet potato mash. Super simple. Charcoal rotisserie is based on like just super simple traditional dishes, mm. but making them with really good ingredients. Oh, yeah. How does this rank on your sweet potato? This scale? is probably one of my favorite of all time. My oh, wife awesome. makes this a lot. But this is like amazing. Oh my god, I need more. That's an endorsement. So glad you like it. Well, show me the mango salad. The mango salad is awesome. I love it. Because it's green mango, so green mango isn't super sweet. So it still has like a nice acidity. Mm -hmm. That's perfect for this weather. Very it's nice. got cashews in there, red onion, It's very kale. fresh. I feel like I can eat like a whole bowl of that. Yeah. Oh. And we got the bok choy here. We got here. dessert if you're down. Like you do not run out of options I, here. I will, I will. <laughs> A lot of you guys don't know this about me, but when I don't eat on camera all these crazy foods, I stay very lean at home. I eat like a vegetarian or a vegan. I eat all my greens. Like this is this is my plate. I, 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 I can't stay away from chicken, it's hard. I stay away from a lot of red meats. At home? Yeah, I, I like, for me it's lamb, goat, chicken. Uh, and then obviously fish, just fish forever. We're gonna have some awesome lamb for you to taste next. Oh, matter. that's lamb? Yeah. <laughs> Last and final dish that we have here. This is from Levant. This is our Mediterranean concept. So okay. we have vegetarian mezze platters. We have beef, lamb, chicken kebabs, veggie kebabs. Wow. This is a build your own mezze. So you okay. can pick from any number of our hummuses, our dips, our beans, our rices, our salads. And this is our flatbread, which I love. It's so crunchy and delicious. It looks awesome amazing. Awesome in-house. And our lamb. 
Oh, lamb. So yummy. Mm. Mm. The concept here is fresh. The main work, you know. Wow. This lamb meatball. It's incredible. The hummus, and this is like a red tomato paste. Yes. Mm. That lamb is fresh too. It's good. And then the flatbread, I love. The flatbread is incredible. It's really good. Wow. So what I'll do is like, mm. cut a little bit of this. Hummus. Mm. The lamb is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The spices you're using, if I close my eyes, I'm in Greece or somewhere, you know, in the Mediterranean. Awesome. Says like, hey man, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> a lamb sandwich? Oh. This is the way to do it. Lap bread. And they're high like this. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a tostón. It's very crispy. And we make it every day. I might have to change my favorite to this. Uh oh. <laughs> I had a feeling. I was like, hmm. I mean, the lamb. Take the charcoal lemonade challenge, David. Activated charcoal, which is very detoxifying, fresh house made lemonade and bee pollen. And it's amazing. The charcoal lemonade challenge? I'm like, <laughs> look at that shit. <laughs> Oh, it's good. Yeah. It's like lemonade with some pollen. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really nice. Yeah. It's refreshing in the Miami heat. It was like perfect. Yeah, and it's really good for you. So that's the Rosemary Arnold Palmer, but it's alcoholic version with bourbon, and it's amazing. Uh, rosemary simple syrup with fresh organic uh, cold pressed lemon juice. Uh, Jojo black tea, and it's topped off with two ounces of bourbon. And as a garnish, we sprinkle some activated coconut charcoal on. Is it too early to be drinking? <laughs> mm. A mojito in a way, similar but bourbon. See, I thought this was like a little bamboo shoot or something. I didn't know the straw. Mm. The switchel. So apple, cider, vinegar, and ginger, huh? and it has a kick. Feels like a ginger shot. Uh huh. Exactly. Wow. Here we have the Delibles Green Lemonade. It has green apple, cucumber, spinach, kale, lemon, ginger, and mint. Mmm. I can have one of these every day. I think the cucumber and the spinach and the kale mixed together. I mean, obviously everything else, like the lemon and the ginger, you feel it, but just you feel like a very, very green drink here. And that's great for your health. Root to rise. This is probably the most interesting looking one. It's beets, sweet potato, grapefruit, celery, ginger, and cayenne. The cayenne's probably the, the weird twist to it, but I like it. Let's, uh, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> I like it a lot. I love the beets in it. Ginger. Ginger just gives everything a great taste, you know? I love Radiate Apothecary Bar because pretty much any kind of treat you want, it's here. Whether you want an amazing juice that's healthy and yummy, or a cocktail, or a dessert, or something like a unicorn latte, we've got it all here for you. The founder of Radiate Miami, which is a line of kombucha, Susan Dupree, is our bar manager. So she is at the head of our amazing menu here at Radiate Apothecary and Bar. So to end the meal here, I got iced coffee. This is the way I like to have coffee. I got a double espresso, and then I put it in a glass with ice. And yeah, just because the heat here in Miami is so intense. Right now it's summer. It's like 90, 90, 95 degrees outside. Ooh, some good coffee. That was Jackson Food Hall, the first wellness-focused food hall in America. The food was outstanding. Salads were delicious. Festivals were so good. But my favorite thing was for sure the lamb. The lamb was outstanding. One of the, my favorite lambs I've eaten in Miami. And the juices, the juices, I mean, they're incredible. This is some place you have to visit if you're in Miami, if you're coming from the airport, if you're going to downtown, get off of the Civic Center, if you're coming by Metro, it's very easy to get here. Once you get off at the Metro Station, you walk two blocks, about three minutes. And if you're into healthy food, you have to come to Jackson Food Hall. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next adventure.